So good morning everyone and welcome to our Friday, Feel Good Friday session uh, for seniors, the elderly, the less mobile, anyone that fancies a mainly chair-based workout, low impact. I will give you some standing options also. I am joined by my wonderful mother-in-law, Nisha Ben. She is visible on my YouTube channel and on Zoom. You will see both of us next to each other. I'm also streaming on my Instagram and my Facebook page at Feel Good with Navina. All the workouts, all the sessions we've done, uh, nearly coming up to a year, I can't believe it, are saved on my YouTube channel at Feel Good with Lavina. So you can replay, you can go back and do some extra sessions in your own time. Um, I have a lot of you on Zoom, which is fantastic. So I can see them here on my laptop. Turn your cameras on if you can. If you uh, would like to get onto my seniors WhatsApp group for all the Zoom login details and session reminders and the safe session after this one, um, please sign up on my website. There's a link to my newsletter and it's free. It also gives you information on everything I'm doing, um, free top tips and lots more, lots of free workouts and so on. I've got a little bit of music on in the background. So we will start. As always, you just need yourself some positive energy. We're going to enjoy the session. I want you to see how you feel before we start. And let's compare it to how you feel afterwards. We're going to start with just some nice deep breathing. So we're going to use our arms as part of our warm up. We're going to take a nice big Positive inhale, extending the arms up and exhale all the way down. Lovely, relax your shoulders. We want to think about tucking our shoulders back and down into their little pockets here, squeezing back so our back is nice and straight, our core is engaged. We're gonna do a few more today of these. Breathing in, inhale and exhale wonderful lovely using your arms breathing in lots of positivity inhale and exhale good try and lengthen your breath this is going to help calm our bodies and our minds i know it can be a little bit of a rush even on my end this morning i had my little puppy um, bouncing around and my son is on half term. It can be busy getting set up for this workout, but this is our time. You're investing in your health. So let's calm our breathing. Inhale and exhale. This is going to help kick in the parasympathetic nervous system to relax the body. We want to alleviate, get rid of any stress today, anxiety that you may have. One more, we're warming up our arms at the same time, and exhale, lovely. I will show you standing options. You can see my mother-in-law doing everything seated for me in the video on YouTube and Zoom. We're going to do our lovely feel good hug to start. Friday, we're going to open up our arms, bending my chest. I'm going to show you one seated and then set somebody that you are missing. Give them a big virtual feel good hug. Wrap your arms around you and release. Lovely. I'm going to show you standing. As I open up my arms, I'm lengthening, I'm opening up my chest. Lifting my chin out, I'm curving my spine, and then on the exhale, I'm trying to round my back, almost creating this C shape, tucking the tailbone under, chin to chest. Give yourself another big hug and release. We will do some more at the end, but that's a nice one. It's almost like a standing or seated cat cow position. So you should feel a little bit looser in your back as well. We're gonna do our neck circles. So just nice few 
Relax circles, you can close your eyes, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears, breathing in and exhale, coming round. One more this way, giving our neck some love. Other way, just see how that feels. If you're doing this live, maybe you slept a bit funny, so your neck could do with a little bit of loosening. You could suggest uh, doing this workout to any of your children that may be working from home, because it's a great one to do. If you're working from home, you turn off your Zoom cameras. You can always use some of these movements during the day to help loosen things up. So let's do our shoulders. We're gonna take a nice big positive inhale with our hands on our shoulders. Our elbows are drawing lovely big circles. And really focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale. By focusing on our breath, you can even close your eyes on this one. You should feel a lovely warming around your heart and your chest. This is supposed to help open out your heart chakra. So bringing us all some much needed love today. Let's go around the other way. So just changing directions, inhale and exhale. Lovely, how do those shoulders feel? We're giving them some nice movement, all mobility work. Breathing through, see how it feels. One more and relax. Well done. We're going to do our arm circles. You can come a little bit forward on your chair. I'll show you standing as well. My mother-in-law is showing you everything seated on YouTube and Zoom. You should be able to see us both. So we're going to try and alternate the arms. Just see how it feels to try and Give it that lovely full circle. It may feel a little bit tight and today is your workout. You do what your body allows, what feels good for you. Don't worry if you can't do everything. Find an exercise you can do from our and just try and keep some movement. Let's change direction. So now we're swimming nice and forward. Big circles with those arms, breathing through. I've got my stomach muscles pulled in as I'm working here. Training the stomach as well that helps support our spine. Let's do two more, this feels so nice. Just opening, loosening up and relax, well done. Coming to a nice seated position, we're gonna do our ankle and wrist circles. My ankles are very sore today. I did so many steps um, yesterday, I think in, on an incline. So this will help, even if you're seated watching TV, try and add some of these simple movements. We are going to do our hands. So we're gonna put our hands in a fist and circle out our wrists. So try and keep your arms straight so that the movement just comes in that wrist. Yeah. So we're circling out. And then if you can, you're going to lift one leg off. I can see lots of you doing that already. And we're just rotating the ankle. Mine feels tight today. I'm doing the step challenge for brain tumor research. So Getting lots of steps in. Shall we change direction? Well done. Keep breathing. If you need to rest that leg, just rest and rejoin at any point and relax. Good. When we lift that leg up, you should feel that these muscles have to work. We had it held there for quite a while. And as I always say, strengthening these muscles will help strengthen the knees and I always get questions about knee pain so we are strengthening the body we're going to come to our main resistance strength section soon we're doing the other way let's go for other leg nice big circles give me some smiles today on zoom it's lovely to see you all and I want you to enjoy and wow, you all look so beautiful smiling. 
That is lovely. Well done. And let's go around the other way. We, just a smile sometimes can lift your spirits, yeah? And I can see some beautiful smiles this morning. Amazing. And relax. Good. So putting our hands on our opposite shoulders. We're just going to keep them flat. Sometimes I tell you to lift your elbow, but let's keep them down today. And just see how a small twist to the side feels. Excellent. Exhale as you twist round, inhale as you come in. Exhale as you twist round. It doesn't have to be a large movement. As I twist round, I'm feeling it mainly in my uh, middle back and upper back, the thoracic spine area. Tight when we're sitting. And before we exercise, it's really important to mobilize, warm up the spine muscles in your back. Twisting round, back in, how does it feel? And relax, well done. We're going to go and chop some wood today in a beautiful forest. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you have played golf. Anyone play golf here? Um, put your thumbs up. Is it Rustic Uncle? Fantastic. So we've got a few golf players. You could either be wood chopping or golf, whatever you fancy. You are going to do it seated, most of you. You're going to keep your feet nice and wide. And we're going to lean down to one side. We're going to lift that axe or that golf club. And we're going to twist. So use your breath out. The exhale as you twist. If anyone wants to join me standing, we can use our legs a little bit, depending on your legs. You can come down into a slight lunge, bending those legs, twisting round. Inhale, let's stick to the same side for now. We're gonna just practice, see how you feel. You can go a little bit lower, twisting all the way up. Can you imagine you are in a forest, chopping some wood? Or maybe playing some golf. Beautiful, twist round and relax. Do you feel that in your back? You should feel it there. You should probably feel it in your stomach muscles and our arms. And we're getting a little bit warmer as we're warming up. Inhale, let's do the other side. Seated or standing. Some of you are golf players, so let's pretend we're on that golf course. I'm not sure this is the perfect swing. <laughs> I think my husband and sons would correct me, but otherwise we are going to chop some wood. So use some breath, <sighs> exhale as you twist round. If you can, give me three more. Enjoy it, smile everyone. Good, last one. Twisting round. Great work. Well done. You should feel your heart rate. Some of you have stood up there. Everything is demonstrated on a chair. So for anyone with uh, disabilities even, I'm doing um, a free session tonight for some disabled children, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and we're going to be using a lot of our exercises as well. So, um, you can see my mother-in-law doing everything on the chair and then I will show you some options because some of you can do things standing, but you just do what you can. We're gonna use our bands. If you haven't got one of these long bands, don't worry, you could use a scarf, you could use a pair of old tights if they're long enough, or even a belt. The thing with the band is it has resistance, it has this stretch. So normally, the closer you hold it, the harder the exercise. The wider you hold it, the easier. And I think you know, most of you I've seen before, if you haven't and you're new, my lovely shoulder flossing that I prescribe every day, like we floss our teeth, let's floss our shoulders. I'll show you seated to begin with. My mother-in-law's doing it seated. We are going to breathe through, so either inhale and exhale, or you could take a really long all the way around and an exhale all the way back. 
We're going to try and keep our arms straight and symmetrical. I have seen people, sometimes one side is higher because it's tighter. If you're finding it difficult, loosen up on the band and just try and keep your arms as straight as possible. Inhale and exhale. This is so good for the ball and socket joint, our shoulder range of movement. Ah, lovely. Someone on Instagram is saying your mother-in-law is amazing. She is awesome, actually. That's the word. Yes, I agree. I think actually um, every single person taking part, if you can see the screen on my right, she inspires everyone with her abilities and how strong and fit she has got. I feel like she's a super grand at the moment. Mummy, well done. And everyone taking part here is doing something to help their health, which is the key bit here. And that's physical and mental health. Can you feel it? You can relax for a few minutes. If that was easy, you could go a little bit tighter. When it starts working, so we did quite a long set there, you might feel a little bit of burning. It's the lactic acid is perfectly normal because we're using our muscles now. So what we're gonna do on the next one, I'll show you seated, is hold it a little bit tighter so that you have this tightness here. Whether you're holding a belt or a scarf, if you have nothing, you can still do these exercises without any equipment. We're going to try and go straight arms and down. Now, when I reach the top, I want your shoulders to relax. I don't want them to be hunched up by your ears. So we're going to exhale and inhale. Use this tightness if you can, so that we're keeping it nice and steady. Exhale and inhale. Lovely. Shall we? Go for a few more, five more if you can, and inhale, good. Keeping those shoulders down, shoulder blades are back and squeeze down. The arms should be working because I'm holding that tightness in the band. It's not slapping, I wanna hold it tight. Two, well done. And last one, excellent work. Well done. Do you feel your arms working a little bit there, yeah? You could just do an exercise snap, a five minute workout with a band. Just remember some of these simple exercises when you're sitting in the day and you feel like your body needs a bit of loosening up. This great idea to keep these bands by if you're working from home as well. So we're going to do a little bit on this muscle group, our latimus dorsi here. These are the muscles on the side. We're going to try and keep our arms up. One hand's going to stay up. You want to keep it quite loose. So make sure you've got a lot of slack here. So it's nice and loose. I'll show you. See, I'm going to bring this elbow. So this arm stays straight. And this arm, the elbow comes down and round and back up. You might need to adjust it, so make it um, as tight as feels good for you. A little bit of resistance is good. Exhale, inhale. Now I'm gonna show you standing. When I'm doing it, uh, this elbow is staying to the side of my body and I will start feeling it here. Can you all feel it here, yeah? Then you it's a little bit of a hard one, this one, but once you've got it, you will know. So this elbow stays, I hope you can see me fully there on, there we go, on YouTube. So I'm gonna come back a little bit, there we go. Squeezing down and up. Can you feel it? Can we do a few more? If you need to rest, please rest. Elbow, out to the side, squeeze down and up, relax. Arms getting a little bit tired, <laughs> holding them up, good, good, good. Loosen them up, just give yourself a few little rolls. Let's try the other side, so hopefully you feel it here. These are important muscle groups. Let's try 
by the other side. So we're gonna squeeze round and up. Lovely. Squeezing round the other side, that elbow comes down to the side. You breathe out on the hard part. Inhale, breathe in on the release. Keeping the other arm nice and straight and squeeze up. If you don't have a band or a belt, you can still try and do this. And I'm really thinking about that mind over muscle connection. So I'm really using my muscles and tightening them as I come round and up. Good. Can we do two more just to even it out on this side? Squeezing up, last one, and relax. Well done. Great work. We've done quite a bit with the band today. Um, you could actually do a whole workout using a band, but because I have to cover warm up, our cardio, our strength, and our stretch, it's like a feel good prescription as I say I'm just giving you ideas you can always watch it back on YouTube and just play little sections if you haven't got the full 45 minutes to an hour just do an exercise snack so let's do some bicep curls we're going to work this muscle group now we're coming into our proper resistance section and I know um, I will put a little questionnaire out at some point did any of you do any strength training, like using any weights before? There's lots of you that may have done yoga. Um, did any of you do strength training before this? If you could put your thumbs up. No, a lot of you, no thumbs up. There's one, I can see Purnima, um, Auntie Great, and maybe, maybe a few others. Uh, Selena, great, I think I'm saying your name right. So, strength training is to help us reduce our risk of osteoporosis because we're gonna start off with our body weight, but then you incrementally weigh and add some light weights. Like we don't have dumbbells, so we use tins or bottles, safe plastic objects. But as we age, our muscle mass decreases and our bone density. So by getting stronger bones, if you were to fall later on in life, if you have the odd fall, you're less likely to have a fracture, yeah, because your bones will get stronger. So we want to keep our bones strong, and obviously it's going to help us with everything, our functional day-to-day -day activities. So let's strengthen the biceps, either using the band, if you've got a band, you can loop it round one or both feet, depending on your length. You can have one foot or both feet. And you're going to keep your elbows tucked in, shoulders back, and we're going to try and squeeze up. If you don't like using the band, I'm just showing you another option. So my mother-in-law will show you with the band. You could use some light weights, and we can squeeze in and release. So either the band, good, I can see some of you. Now, if you, whatever you're using, I want you to try and keep your wrist straight to your forearm. I don't want you to bend back. When you start lifting any weight, let's keep that wrist nice and straight. I can do it standing, and I'm squeezing tight and releasing. As I do it, I'm really tightening these muscles. Elbows stay in and focus on those muscles. It's like the mind to muscle connection. We're squeezing up. These are very light for me, obviously these tins, but I can still make it really work because I'm making these work hard. I'm tightening, squeezing those muscles, release, good. Whether you're doing it with the band, I'll just show you again, actually, mummy, I think you haven't moved the band under your feet. So if you're using the band, try and put it under your foot, sorry. I just noticed that she's uh, doing it upright, but you won't feel any resistance like that. So you can keep it under your feet and then you use the band. Good, so just try again, maybe a few reps. 
Rest if you've been doing it for over 10 repetitions. 10 is just our average. It's a good rep range and relax. So give yourself a little rest. Um, I can see some of you. Yeah, it's the one that said yes to weight training. She, Selena, I think you've got dumbbells. Lucky you. <laughs> so everyone else, whatever you've got, you can keep working. If, those rep, if that weight is too light for you, you keep going. But really make sure each repetition is a good one. So let me show you with the band. Let's do the last 10. If you can, if you need to rest, have a rest. I'm going to put it under both feet. You could use your weight or the band, squeezing up and lengthen. So all the way up, breathe out. Breathe in, lovely. Keep those elbows stuck to your body here, by your side. So you're really using this part. Can you feel it, the right muscles? And the more you send those brain messages, we want to keep our brains fit during these workouts. We are using our brains and we're hopefully Reducing risk of dementia, Alzheimer's as a big link with exercise. Good, two more, I can really feel mine now. And last one, relax, well done. Did you feel that, thumbs up? Yes? Okay, well done, great work. So normally I show you the squat using our chair seated here. I'm going to show you a different option today, but if you'd like to stay on the seat, please stay on the seat. And if at any point you can't do any exercise or you're ready to move, I want you to start keeping your heart rate up and you just pretend we're walking on our chair, getting our steps in. I need to get my 10,000 steps in before the charity challenge I'm doing, but you can easily get your steps in while I'm explaining the exercises. So we typically do our chair squat, which my mother-in-law is going to demonstrate. Always our feet wide, knees go out in line with the toes, and you keep your weight in your heels, in the back part of your foot. You can use your chair, coming up, squeezing up, and down, or you can go the full way, all the way up, holding your hands in front of you, squeezing all these muscles, and then slowly returning back down. We are checking our knees stay back. So I keep showing this, but I don't want to see beyond our toes. I want you to keep the knees so that you're sitting back on a chair, Squeezing up. Can you see the difference? Our knee's going to carry on with that squat. I'm going to show you another option. If you have a chair, something that won't move, even your table, we can also do the squat standing. So this is another advanced option. You can keep your feet wide here, using some balance, we're still sitting back and down and squeezing up. Yeah, so two options. Mummy, you carry on just for about 10 repetitions. If you want to try this on the back of a chair or some support or table, you squeeze up. Can you see that my knees are staying nice and back? I can see my toes and squeeze up. My knees always go out. They never come in, even when we do normal squats and fitness sessions. This is going to really help the muscles and with strength training you should have pain because those muscles are getting strong. Squeeze everything as you come up. Let's do one more and squeeze up. Great. So I'm going to have a little look on Zoom. Some of you, great, are staying on the chair with my mother-in-law because you can see her doing it on Zoom and on YouTube. Anyone else that's standing? So let's try one more set, because this is a little bit new. I want to show you and explain properly. So 
We've got our hands on a support table or a chair, something that's not going to move. And if you're doing it seated, mummy, I can see you, you're ready to go. Let's go for 10 more. So we're sitting back and down. I imagine I sit back on that chair and I squeeze up. My stomach is tight, my back is nice and straight, and my knees are going out. Good, in the same direction as your toes. Squeeze, really think about the muscles that we are working, all our lower body, our glutes, our core, you should feel your heart rate up. Breathe out as you come up, good. Inhale, can we do three more? Three, lovely, nice and controlled. Two, squeeze up, and last one, all the way up. This is a bit of progression. I don't expect everyone to do this version, yeah? But it's just something different. I'm gonna show you the next exercise is going to also use either the back of the chair for anyone that wants to stand, or if you're seated, mommy's gonna just keep showing you this one. We're gonna lift our heels up. So we're lifting the heels up, and we're releasing down. As we lift the heel, you should be tightening your calf muscle. So we're strengthening the lower part of the leg. So you lift up and squeeze and release. I'm gonna show you another option standing today, just something new. If anyone wants to do it by the table or the chair, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're coming up to our toes. I'm trying to squeeze those calves and release. So I'm coming up, body stays nice and tall, stomach is engaged, I'm coming down. If you're doing what mummy's doing on the chair, so if you're seated, mummy, you can add in some arms, just to keep it moving. If you're seated, lift the heels and the arms and release. Let's go at the same pace, so let's go for 10. If you're standing, it might be harder to lift your arms, which is why I said hold on to support. So I'll do them standing. Let's go for eight more, because you started early. Seven, lift up. Can you feel those calves working? Five, and down, good. Four, lifting up, really onto those tippy toes. Good, and three, Great work, and two, lift and squeeze, good, and last one, all the way up, and release, well done. Do you feel that, yeah? We're going nice and slow, um, if it's difficult, you can always do a single leg raise, so you can just do one leg seated or standing, and lifting up. We're now gonna add in our shoulder press. So this is another very important functional movement as we lift up to try and put things on the shelf ourselves. So we're gonna use our shoulders. We're gonna do, I'm gonna show you without any weight. First, we're gonna keep our palms facing forward. Instead of relaxing, all the way down. When you come to the bottom of the movement, I want you to keep it in this position. So it's a little bit harder and you have the tension on the muscles. We're going to do single presses today. So we're coming down, breathing out, inhale. So now you've got the movement, use a little weight, maybe some tins, maybe some bottles, um, whatever you have, if you don't have, um, I think mummy probably doesn't have weights today. You don't use the weight if you haven't, oh, she's got some weights, good. If you've got any household safe objects, no glass, we're gonna go for singles today. So stomach is tight, back is nice and straight. I'm gonna go up, exhale, back to my ear. Exhale the other side, we're alternating. We're 
pressing up and down. You can do it standing. So I will show you standing. My mother-in-law is showing you seated on Zoom and on YouTube. You can all see her. When I'm standing, I've got my stomach even tighter pulled in because I've got no support. The core is our balance. And as I go up, I'm not moving my back. I'm keeping everything still, controlled. Can you feel it? Breathe out and in. Let's go for two more on each side. Good. Four, three, lovely. Two, good. And one. I mean, these are light for me, but I can really feel that. Can you feel that? Um, if you've got the right weight, hopefully you should feel that. You can do different positions with the hand, but today I'm showing you with the palms facing forwards, yeah? We're gonna do one more set. You can stick to singles. You can do the same again, or we're going to try and do some doubles. So breathing out, both arms together, inhale, replace. If you want to stick to singles, you stick to singles. But let's try and go for nine more doubles and down. Good. Eight, breathing out, well done. And seven, only thing moving is our arms. We're really focusing on our shoulders. Mine are burning already, six. Do what you can. If you need to rest, please rest. Five. Good. Four. Really slow control. Time under tension on the muscles. Three. And two. Well done. And last one. Great work. I hope you felt that. I definitely felt that with me. So... Excellent work on Zoom. I love seeing lots of you working out with us today. It's amazing. So great, great work. We're going to now go into our cardio section. So we're going to have no weights unless you want to use some very light tins, maybe for one of the exercises. But have a little bit of space because we are going skiing. <laughs> We're doing lots of outdoor sports today. So we're going to go skiing. Has anyone been skiing ever on this group? Has anyone been skiing? No, I mean, I only went started skiing. Oh, you have. Selena again. She's the very um, active sporty one. Anyone else? No, so I can see some of you start moving if you want while I'm talking. We're going to go skiing. We're gonna do a seated, so we're gonna imagine we're using our arms and we're gonna move down the slopes. The feet come out together on one side and then on the other side. So the feet are stepping out and together. We're gonna use our arms. Imagine you're on the top of a mountain. I can do the same standing up. So I can just pretend I'm going skiing I'll do like a single leg movement. It's not perfect skiing, but it's gonna be good enough just to pretend to visualize we are on the top of a mountain, but more than anything, we're using our arms and we wanna get our heart rate up now in our cardio section. So just have a little bit of fun with it. Smile and just pretend you're moving your arms down. Good. Skiing down those lovely slopes. Can we do 10 more seconds? Go for your own little rhythm here. Good, four and three. Good, two and one. Excellent. Heart rate should start coming out. Up a little bit. Step it out in between if you need to, between the sets if you've still got some energy. Did, did you enjoy the skiing? Can you pretend that you are on top of a beautiful white mountain? The scenery is beautiful, the sun is shining, we're not cold, and often you feel really hot when you're skiing. You should feel like your heart rate's coming up. So we're gonna go 
Try skiing for the last 30 seconds again. If you don't want to step your feet, you can do it standing and just pretend you're going down the slopes, yeah? If you're seated, I think my mother-in-law is showing you, you can move both feet to the side and then the other side. Let's go, everyone. As a feel-good community, we are going virtual skiing. Well done. Great work. I'm going to take a little clip of you, so don't stop, because you all look fantastic. This skiing is working out well today. Keep going, keep going. If I can get my camera on, I'm going to take a little clip of you on Zoom here. That's amazing. We have gone to play golf. We're now skiing on top of a beautiful mountain. Seated or standing. Great work, everyone at home. Keep going. That is lovely. Have a bit of fun with it. Five more seconds. Moving those arms, swishing down the slopes. Three, two, and one. Yay. Give yourselves a clap. Excellent work. Big smiles. Nice skiing there. So if you haven't been skiing, you can tell everyone now that over lockdown, I went skiing with Levina. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, your heart rate should be up. Let's do a little bit of boxing. I mean, you know this is one of my favorites. Any age, you can just get rid of some stress, some tension. We can fight our way through this pandemic we're all going to be stronger and fitter after this whole experience. So let's box out the arms. Let's also bring in our legs. We're going to really work our hips. So you can lift your knees up. If you want, you can add in some light tins if you wanted to right now. Just something very light if you've done it before. Or just body weight. Some of you are already standing with me. When you lift the knees up, so seated or standing, as you lift the knee up, you want to crunch, use the stomach muscles to lift that leg up, yeah? But more than anything, let's just punch out our stress, our tension. My mother-in-law is going pretty fast. I can see my mum as well, Pumadvesha, punching away, very good. Got both mums every week on uh, Zoom with me. It's amazing. All of you, well done. Keep going, team. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Breathe. <laughs> so you should feel your heart is working. Take some deep breaths. Have a sip of water if you need it. I want you to all make sure you stay hydrated when you exercise. You should feel like it's a little bit harder if you were able to talk um, and your heart is pumping, so that's great, yeah? Great for our respiratory system, our lungs are working, our heart, everything's getting stronger and fitter. Shall we do one more quick bout of boxing today? So any stress that's left, this is the last chance. Let's get rid of it all. Let's be positive. Let's go team. 30 seconds, seated or standing. Seated with my mum-in-law. Let's go team. Good. Lifting those knees, punching through this pandemic. Great work. You should be feeling happier right now. I hope those endorphins Feel good endorphins are released. Punch it out. You can go fast or you can just go slow if you're getting tired. Have you got anything left for the last 10 seconds? Give it all to me. Very good work. Lovely to see some couples as well. If you're on your own, you are not alone. We are working as a big virtual community whether you're on YouTube, Zoom, Instagram, or Facebook, five more seconds. Three, two, woo, and one. Excellent work. Really good work today. How do you all feel? I 
help um, you energized and happier. Exercise is free medicine. I keep saying, combine it with a healthy diet, lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, colorful plates, um, you're gonna feel great. So let's breathe. My heart rate is up. We're coming to the best part of the workout, our stretching. This is your reward for your body. So we are going to stretch it out. I'm going to just tie my hair back for this one. We're going to pretend we're sunflowers. I don't know if any of you got a chance to join the workout I did with my mother-in-law, son and husband um, for brain tumor research. It's on my YouTube channel. It's only, um, it's actually only a 20 minutes, about 25 minutes in total. But we did this lovely sunflower. So we're going to pretend we're sunflowers, seated or standing. So let me show you seated first before you all get up. We're going to come down, link your hands to the opposite elbows, relax your head down, coming into that forward fold. We're then going to reach up one side like you're growing, a beautiful sunflower growing in the sun, coming down the other side and back to the middle. Then we change direction. Start breathing in. Exhale, calming down. I'm going to show you standing. My mother-in-law is beautifully demonstrating the seated version on Zoom and YouTube. Lifting up. Feel that lovely growth. Nice and slow because we're cooling down now. Bringing up. This is a nice reward for your body at the end of a workout to help prevent injuries, bring down the heart rate. Can we keep going? Maybe one last one on this side, lifting up and release. Lovely work. Seated or standing. This forward fold position is such a nice one just to relax in. You could have your hands on opposite elbows, but I want you to just relax. So where you're seated, just bring the whole body down. Doesn't matter how far you go. Relax your head and neck. Let your arms go. You can do this standing in this position where I'm literally lengthening out the backs of my legs as well and hanging out here. Just breathe. Two, one, you engage your stomach muscles and slowly roll up the spine, each vertebra by vertebra. Well done. And we're gonna do our lovely hamstring stretch. We're gonna do it seated. So we'll have one leg coming forward. We lengthen out the leg, we bring the toes towards us so you feel that lovely length. That's more important than how far we come down. We're gonna breathe in, reach up, and then slowly come down towards the leg. Doesn't matter if you can't touch your toes. Wherever you can reach, try and relax into it. Keeping that leg straight, you should feel a lovely stretch. And these are static stretches to hold at the end of a workout, to really lengthen the muscles out. Hold for a few seconds, three, take deep breaths, two more deep breaths, one last breath, engage your stomach and roll up your spine. So we'll do the same on the other leg, it's really important, especially if you try those, any new variation or like the squats that we did today, something new, I want to help prevent that soreness. You may feel a little bit of soreness, which is perfectly normal and should go after two to three days. Breathing in here, holding. That's why stretching is so important. If you do feel the soreness, go to my YouTube channel and just play the last five one of the workouts and do some extra stretching. So hold, relax the head and neck. Use each breath out, the exhale to go 
a little bit deeper into any areas that feel tight. Release that tension. Roll up the spine. Nice and slow. We are going to do our little side bend, coming up and over, lengthening out. You can give me a little wave. That's lovely. Well done on Zoom, the ones I can see. You can get all the Zoom login details by joining my seniors WhatsApp group. Please share with your family and friends. You can join it by just subscribing to my free newsletter on my website. I'll give you a link. Very easy. Rather side, left side stretch. Back to the middle. We're going to do our final few of My mum in law will show you seated. This is going to be a big hug from me to all of you because I think you're all amazing. And it makes my day seeing you all work out with me. Um, if you want to send it to someone you love, phone them after this workout. Tell them. They'll be so happy to hear from you. So let's take a nice, big, positive inhale. Reach those arms out. Exhale. Big hug from me to all of you. Wrap your arms around you. Maybe give yourselves a little rub. Open up your spine, smile, and release. Well done. We're going to take our final feel-good finish. You can stay seated like my mom-in-law. We're going to do a nice, big, positive inhale. How we end all my workouts. Exhale, any negativity, stress, anxiety that's left all away. And a final big positive inhale. Hands meet at the top, down to your amazing heart center. I'm gonna come and talk to all of you on Zoom. I'm just gonna need two minutes, so bear with me just to save the session on my Instagram and my Facebook.